one of the most common questions you guys have been asking in Venian's community is how to turn off an effect after a certain amount of time has passed. Today I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Hi hi, it's your friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi here, again with a completely new YouTube series about Vinyan. This will be Vinyan Basics series, so we're gonna make very short tutorials on how to do certain most commonly asked questions in Vinyan. Now it's been a while since I've posted anything on YouTube, and that has been simply because I've been too busy adding new features to the application, but that is going to change now. Not that I was any less busy, but I will try to squeeze in a couple instructional videos for the application so you guys actually will learn how to use it. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so to get started with a very simple toggle redeem that can be toggled on and then will automatically turn off after a certain amount of seconds. You simply need to start Vinyan and open up the node graph. And we are going to start by adding a channel point redeem node, like so. And we're going to call it test. You can name it whatever you want, as long as it does exist in Twitch as a channel point redeem. So what are we going to connect to this? Let's try the most commonly asked question some of these liquid systems. So a water node, for example. Let's make the color look a little bit like water, like so. Now, if you were to connect these two directly and were to test it out, it would just turn on the water effect like so. And then when signaling again, it would stop it. But of course, this is not what we want because we want it to turn off automatically. So for this reason, we added a new node to Vinyan in the 1.3.4 version called wait. So that's a gateway node. So basically this node will wait a certain amount of milliseconds before the signal passes along. So how would we change this specific redeem to work so that it turns off? First of all, we will connect this directly to the water node so that whenever somebody redeems this, the water node will turn on instantly. And now we want it to turn off after one second. So we write 1000 here. So 1000 milliseconds is one second. And then we connect the same channel point node to that wait node. And then we connect the wait node also to the water node. So now when these channel points get executed, it will actually signal two signals. One goes directly to the water and the other one then goes to the wait node. And once the wait node finishes, it goes back to the water and stops the water. So we can test this simply by right clicking here and send signal. And as you can see, it turns off automatically after one second. So right now you could instantly use this specific redeem on your channel if you added a cooldown to the redeem because now if we run this multiple times in a row there is a chance that this uh, water will either remain on or stay completely off so how would we change this redeem so that it actually only allows things to run once no matter how many users execute the redeem at the same time Luckily with Vinion, this is actually super easy. Basically, we will disconnect these nodes first. And then we will need to use parameters. So let's search for param. And now we have several parameter nodes. These allow us to save values and then fetch these values later. So we're going to do so that uh, we use the set parameter. And now we need to figure out a name for the parameter. So since we're working on a water effect, let's call it water on. Like so. And uh, we need to set it to one. 
By default, parameter values are always zero, but so when we turn on the water, we should set the value, of course, to one. But again, we don't want to execute this every single time, so we're going to use a filter parameter node. Now, this parameter filter checks a parameter value, and if it is certain value, or above or less, then it will pass the signal along. So we're going to use the same water on name here, like so. And we're going to check it against value zero. So this is the default value. If we have not set anything to a parameter, its value will be zero. And we connect that like so. Okay, so now if the value equals zero, then we're going to set the value to one. And we're also going to turn on the water effect, like so. So now the water will only turn on if the value is zero. Now we could also now decide what are we going to do with the weight node. We could either add another parameter filter here, checking that the value is one before we pass it here. Or alternatively, we could connect this weight signal to the equals slot here. It doesn't really matter, but to keep this graph simple, I think we are going to add it after the parameter filter. So we will connect it here like so, and then we will make it turn off the water like so. But now we will also need to reset the parameter to zero, otherwise we can only redeem this once. So we will duplicate this set parameter node, move it here and set the value to zero, and then we will connect this also to the weight node like so. Okay, now let's test our redeem. As you can see, it still works. And now we want to test multiple signals. So let's do this quickly a few times in a row. And as you can see, it only does it once and it's still working. So with this approach, you can easily create redeems that turn themselves automatically off after a certain amount of time. This is really useful with those nodes that operate as toggles, basically. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. And remember, if you have any questions on how to do something in Vinyan or would like me to cover some of those questions, in this specific tutorial series, or if you have a better way of doing something I've covered here, definitely write it down in the comments. I would love to hear all of those. Anyway, cuties, see you next time. Bye-bye.